I am Lady Asuka and today we want to bring anime cartoony expressions back. If you still have a model from the V-Ride beta version, you may have stumbled over the so-called extra expression. An expression that somehow managed to overlay your eyes with some lines to give it that 2D cartoony look. And if you then switch to V-Ride stable, you would have realized that this expression doesn't exist anymore. So my mission this week was to bring this expression back and to add some more so you can customize your models even further. And this is what you can expect to come out of today's tutorial. So let's get started. We are finally back in VRoid Studio for this tutorial and as you may see, the old extra expression still exists as a kind of easter egg in our models heads. At least until export where the program just gets rid of them. So let's just make our own. I will add the new expressions in using hair. To make this a bit easier for you, I uploaded my expressions to my booster, so you can just import them and have fun. But for everyone that wants to make their own, let's create one new expression onto these that was specifically requested. We go to hairstyle and the extra category, but you can personally use whichever category you want from these bottom four to create your own. And if you got my expressions from Boost, then you would import them here under import. Now I would love to add some hearts as eyes here as well, so I will switch over to edit hairstyle and go to work. As you see, we already have all the other expressions here and to demonstrate how I did the initial one, I will actually create a new strand of hair here and show you the process. But first we got to get a texture ready and I leave it up to you if you want to use v directly for that or not. We create a new material and I personally would recommend to switch to another drawing program outside of VRoid to edit the texture. Just export the standard texture here or one of my pre-made ones like this and open it up in another drawing program. I will use Paint Tool Sci here, but you can go with whatever you feel comfortable with. The trick is now to draw the new cartoony eye texture on one half of the canvas here on a new layer. Roughly like this and add in whatever you would like to appear as an expression. I actually will use one of my pre-made textures as a guideline, so I have a better feel about spacing. It took me a lot of initial experimentation to get it where I wanted it to be, so if you want to skip this struggle, feel free to use mine as a template. Once that is done, you can save your new layer and only this new one as a texture, which means a .png and import that directly into VRoid Studio after. We will proceed to draw the hair over your eyes and to get a good feel for it, I even recommend to use a standard texture first, because due to the transparency of our new texture, it is quite hard to see what you are doing. So paint a strand of hair over your eyes and then adjust the cross section here at the bottom to flat and the curve to straight. Adjust the little points under it to form an actual straight line and then switch over to your new texture for fine tuning. You will likely have to change the width ratio and the texture parameters at the top here to center your texture over your eyes. If the other textures get in the way, you can always disable them on the left side with the eye symbol. Just don't forget to enable them for export again, as funny as it may look for now. If you want to add even more expressions, the only thing you would have to do now is to duplicate your hair, create a new material with a new texture, adjust and rinse and repeat till you're happy. Once all your expressions are set, we export our model. And again, there are a few things you have to remember here. We have to deactivate the lead transparent meshes. And this time it's very important to also deactivate the combine hair mesh. Always deactivate that if you are working with hair and unity after. In Unity, we create a new project and import our Uni VRM plugin under Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and use the version we need for whatever other effects we want to add later. But this specific effect doesn't require a specific version. I mentioned my version, as always, down in the description if you need a little pointer. After the import of the plugin is finished, I like to create a folder for my models under Assets to keep it more organized. And then drag the .vrm model into this folder. You can also drag it into the sample scene after. Now, since we used hair for all of this, the next steps are really easy. First, we have to set the neutral state. And that means, of course, that your face shouldn't be littered with all these layered expressions. 
We switch to Materials and find each of the hair materials that corresponds with one of our expressions. These will all be called N00 underscore 00 underscore hair and will follow a number for each different material that was used. We set all the rendering types to Transparent and under Color set the transparency to 0, so they disappear for now. After we did this for all our expression materials, we go to Blend Shapes. Time to set it all up. We select Blend Shape from the bottom assets, the one where we get a list of our current blend shapes, and create as many new blend shape clips as we have expressions. Or if you just want to overwrite one of your already existing expressions, you can do that as well. To preview the expressions, I recommend to use the little three points in the bottom right and the option Convert to Floating Window, so you get treated to a close-up of your model's face and will know exactly if what you did had any impact here or not. We start with our first expression and then go to the Blend Shape tab here and find the point FCL underscore I underscore close. We move the slider to 100 and see how the eyes on our model close in the preview. Then we switch to the tab Materialist and start adding properties here with a little plus icon at the bottom. The first one should be the face eyelash material if you used eyelashes. My model didn't have eyelashes, so nothing is happening on my preview. But on yours, they should disappear now if you also add an underscore color at the bottom and put the transparency to zero. The next property will be the face eyeline material. That should set itself to transparent already, but if not, just add underscore color in again and push the transparency down to zero. Now, if you don't have any eyelid material, you should have a nice blank face. If you use something on the eyelid layer, you can also make this material disappear. The only thing that can't be erased here is if you colored the skin over the eyes with a darker color for shading, so keep that in mind if you wanted to use these expressions. And now if you got a nice clean face for a canvas, it's time to add on our expressions by selecting them from the material list after adding in yet another property. Remember that these will be called hair01 or hair04 or something like that. And if you don't know which expression it is, you can switch around and test them by adding in underscore color again and pushing the transparency back up to 255. Also set the color to white so your original color comes through. We repeat this for all our set expressions and are then ready to export over the VRM0 menu. Don't forget to select your model before exporting, otherwise you have to find it from a list first and set a version if you haven't done that in VRoid yet. Time to test run our new expressions in VC Face. Import your avatar and under the settings find the expression settings, which now contain all our new expressions. If you get weird overlapping while trying them out, remember that you have to set these to base and put at least a bit of transition time in through the sliders. If you want to go even a step further, you could customize these expressions with eyebrow movement in Unity under the Blend Shape tab and find the eyebrows, which can then be adjusted to look set or happy, for example. Have fun experimenting with these. See you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.